Hey guys, welcome back to the Mr. Rossi Drawing Studio, where today we're going to be drawing just like a concoction. Concoction means like this big combination of... <laughs> There's so many different styles of Batmobiles. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to take the best parts of these Batmobiles. Okay, the little fins in the back, the fins in the back and those really cool hoodie parts that make it look like a little bat. Okay, and we're going to be drawing this Batmobile right here. That's going to be the ticket right there. The Mr. Rossi style Batmobile. But before we get to drawing that Batmobile, y'all, you all know what to do. You got to tell your mom, tell your dad, tell that Peril, tell that Gato, tell that Conejo, a willow from across the street to that new friend you met at Walmart about the Mr. Rossi drawing channel. All right, guys, get your pencil ready. Get something to trace with ready. And let's jump on the Mr. Rossi Batmobile style ride. We're going to go there right now. Guys, we're going to drop in here the Batmobile. Okay, super fast, super easy, Mr. Rossi style. Okay, so we're gonna start with the roof of the car, which I like to think of it as the Coco. So you're gonna go with a nice sad face. Remember that as long as you make that sad face, that's how long or how tall or how wide your Batmobile will be. Let's put a little number one here, right here at the front. A little number one, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead, as you saw in that first step, I'm gonna go ahead and trace as I go along so you can see me do it two times. And over here on the left, I'm gonna put in a longer number one going slightly diagonal. Just a longer number one going slightly diagonal. Like a little table, if you will. Just a tiny little table. You don't want to sit at this table, that's for sure. Now take your pencil, put it here at the bottom of the number one, and we're just going to draw a nice sad face. A nice sad face. And I'm going to go ahead and put my pencil at the middle of the number one and do the same thing again. Another sad face. You see that I stopped them both at the same stopping point. Sad face. Sad face. And this time I'm gonna put my pencil at the top of that number one and I'm gonna draw a happy face. A nice happy face. And I'm gonna do the same thing from the bottom of the number one. A nice happy face. So I did a happy face at the top of the number one and a happy face at the bottom of the number one. And from the top of that happy face right there, I'm gonna draw one last sad face and make sure that they kind of all line up. So I put my sad face and you could see that, I made sure that all three stopped at the same point. Now I'm gonna put my pencil right back up here again, and this time I'm gonna go covering this gap, and I'm gonna draw the letter M and stop here where this number one is. So one more time, I'm gonna go right, right back up here, but draw my letter M for your favorite superhero, Mr. Rossi, and I'm gonna stop where this number one stops. Let's trace that. So I took my number, my letter M. I covered that gap. And I'm gonna add another letter M from right here at the top. So I'm just gonna go like this and add another letter M right there at the top. Let me just go ahead and trace that guy up right quick. Now here at the bottom, I'm going to go a little pattern, right? So I'm gonna go little number one, sad face, little number one, sad face. So it goes little number one, sad face, little number one, sad face, little number one, sad face, little number one, sad face. And here at the bottom, I'm just gonna close this gap with a happy face. Close this gap 
with a happy face. Let's go ahead and trace that up. Happy face. Let's add those little details. Let's go ahead and put a little happy face right here for this back tire. And one here at the front. And I'm gonna go ahead and add one, two, one, and two more happy faces. That was happy face one, two, happy face one, two, happy face one, and two. I'm just gonna go ahead and put like the letter W up in here and in here. And then the last little bit here is like I wanna do a little back design here at the front. So I'm gonna do again like the letter M but in the middle of that letter M, instead of doing a sharp, I'm gonna put a little sad face in there. So I'm gonna put the letter M, the letter M, and right here, I'm just gonna put a little sad face in there. So you can see I have that little bat going on again. It looks like a whole bat. So I'm gonna put my letter M, trace that. And close it there. And you can see that that's the, the bat. What a, what a cool design, Mr. Rosal. If I don't say so myself. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and finish up this background. So I'm going to put my pencil right here where it looks like the letter L. And I'm just going to draw a sad face just like that. It's a little sad face right here. And then I'm just going to do this with my Sharpie because it's super easy. I'm going to add my little buildings. So I'm going to put like a nice little tall number one. But I'm going to give it kind of a slightly little happy face. And I'm going to turn that into a rectangle. And wherever I can, I'm just going to add my little rectangle patterns. And I'm going to stop it right here at the front of the car. And I'm going to come back down here and I'll draw a happy face. And I'm going to do the same thing I did right here which I'm gonna add my letter M, but in the middle I'm gonna put that sad face. My letter M, sad face, letter M. And then I'm gonna wrap it up towards the end right there with a happy face. I'm gonna put my name, but I'm not done yet. I still got all this empty space in there. So let's start with putting a little, the little bat symbol up there. So let me just put like a little circle. with the number 11 in there. Maybe put a couple more little number 11s. I'm gonna put the bat symbol in there. Again, remember that it's just, uh, it's like the letter M, but in the middle, I put that sad face. So I'll, let's start with that letter M. In the middle, sad face. Do a little happy face on each side. Go down with a little happy face, down with a little happy face. And let's close this gap with sad face. Make sure that you add sad face. If you don't add a sad face, you're not gonna have it looking like that. Now I said that this little gap right here, super easy. I'm gonna draw Batman up in here, okay? And Batman, draw him up in here. And again, it's so easy. I'm just gonna use my Sharpie right quick. Because Batman's always in the shadows, his cloak, his cape is always, is, you know, covers him. You don't have to draw all of Batman. And again, we're going to do that same method we did here, here, and here. We're going to start with that letter M. Make it a little bit taller. And in the middle, I'm going to put that sad face. And I'm going to finish up that letter M. And I don't even have to draw the whole thing. If you got more space, whatever you do on this side, repeat it on that side. So I'm gonna draw a nice long shoulder, which is a nice long letter, letter uh, number one. Try as much as I can to put it there. Again, if you have more space, keep it going. Make sure they're even. And I'm just gonna draw a happy face. It goes all the way down like that. And again, if you have more space, you do the same thing on this side. Now, if you put triangle and triangle, you're done. You have Batman. Just color him in. If you wanna use blue, if you wanna continue the black, but if you want, because again, he's in the shadows, all you gotta do is see his eyes. But again, if you wanna add that little extra detail, right? So this is super easy, but you don't have to do it, but you know, practice it. You put the letter V right here in the middle. 
and you put a little rectangle and you could put that mouth in there and you have Batman. Perfect. Color that little flesh tone, you're done. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around so that we can color it up and I'm gonna show you what colors you're gonna need to color this one up. If you wanna use my colors, you don't have to use my colors, okay? Ideally, before you uh, trace this part with a, with a black marker, if you, did, if you trace this drawing, don't trace what's inside that fin. That's just a little tip. All right, guys, see you for the next little piece. guys the mr rossi style batmobile with a little bit of batman action right there for you again guys you don't have to color this to the exact same colors that i have here you can color your batman black you can color in purple you can color in whatever colors you like i added right here a couple little yellow eyes i'll see if i can bring that in a little bit closer so that you could see that there on the hood of the batmobile Looking pretty gangster right there, guys. Again, guys, if you like what you see here, you like doing this kind of stuff with me, give a little thumbs up down there, downstairs. It's totally free. Let's YouTube know that you love the Mr. Rossi. Guys, until the next video, as always, be excellent to yourselves and to others.